more fun cleaning your house than it is mine. Hey, well, you're invited any time. Okay, Tracy. We got Donna, Tammy, Missy, Katie, Sarah. And who else is coming? No, Les, you were not invited. We're just the hired help. <laughs> oh, there's Shannon and Carrie. Oh, how about Elisa? Are you kidding? Not to my party. Well, why? Everybody likes her. She's pretty and she's funny. And she looks great in jeans. Who needs her? <sighs> Well, we better get over to my house, because we have a lot of stuff to bring back. Okay. Follow me, I know a shortcut. Oh, we missed the ice. I always forget the ice. I picked up the lettuce. Did you get all the stuff for the salad? Oh, yeah, but no bacon bits. Done. This way. Don't worry, they'll be back. Head dead ends right into those Ow! sticker bushes. Will! Lassie! Back here! Why didn't you tell us where you were going? Okay, across the bridge, down the hill, and we're home. Megan? Will, uh, how are we supposed to get across this bridge? Yeah. Jump. Jump? Jump. It's easy. <laughs> show off. Oh, great. Mom got all the food ready to go. We'll keep your fingers out of the dip. Just want to be sure it's okay for you. Uh, you better call your parents. They're going to wonder what happened to us. Oh, no problem there. They're not home. Oh. What do you mean they're not home? Oh, they're in San Francisco. They won't be back until tomorrow. Uh-oh. Tracy, I can't go to your party if your parents aren't going to be there. Oh, you're such a goody-goody. I am not. Sure you are. Everybody knows it. You always do what you're supposed to do. So? That doesn't make me a goody-goody. Well, sure it does. You tired of living? Sorry. No sense of humor. <laughs> Megan, you're my best friend, and I love you, but... Well, sometimes you're... chicken. Chicken? One word in your history. Look, parents never change a rule until you prove you're mature enough to handle it. That's why, when you break a rule, you show them how responsible you are. Could you write that down? Tracy, no matter what you say, when my parents find out that your parents aren't going to be there, I'm not going to be able to go. So don't tell them. Hey, what's the big headline? Teenage girls pig out on food and CDs. <laughs> well, just this once, please. I don't want a party without my best friend. You're going to ruin everything. Well, hey, I won't give you away. I can learn from your mistakes. <laughs> I got all this food. It's about time you guys got here. You ran a little late, aren't you? A little. Well, you better get going. I really appreciate you making all this food, Mrs. McCulloch. It's the least I can do. Your folks are doing everything else, and chaperoning's the hardest part. Hey, why don't I give you a ride over with all this stuff, and I can see if your mom needs any help? Oh, no! no. I mean, you've done enough. Will said he'd help us carry it over. Well, that was nice of you. Nice has nothing to do with it. I traded him my jean jacket for three hours of help. Thank you. 
Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. I'm going into town. Anybody want anything? Yeah, can we get a ride? Sure. Thanks. See you guys later. Yeah. Maybe it's the way I phrased it. Honey, they're kids. We're parents. He's an uncle. Yeah. I remember that. Throw this stuff in the trash, then Lassie and I are out of here. Thanks for all your help, Will. Yeah. It's the least I could do, considering you're probably going to be grounded for the rest of your life. Your parents won't even know. Mom and Dad always know. <laughs> Megan, would you just relax? Hello? Yeah, sure. Hi. Yeah, how did you know? You do? It's Matt. He and some guys found out about the party and want to come by. Matt's coming? Oh, no. No way. But, uh, no. Tell them no, they can't come. <sighs> Matt? It's a girl's party. You guys can't come. No. No, absolutely not. Okay, see you in about ten minutes. Tracy? He wouldn't take no for an answer. Megan, you're dead. <laughs> come on, Lassie. Isn't it wonderful the way things work out? Nothing's working out. Sure it is. Matt and his friends are seniors, but girls mature faster than boys. So senior girls date college boys. But Matt and his friends have to date younger girls. That's us. The universe is working. Oh, no. Now what? Oh, don't tell me. I don't want to know. The punch. We can't serve pineapple punch to seniors. Oh, you're right. The universe might not work. I know what we could do. What is that? Rum. Tracy, we are not serving alcohol, period. End of discussion. Of course not. I'm just going to put a drop into the punch. No! There. Now, instead of just punch punch, we have rum punch. Think of it as like cake and rum cake. You've had rum cake, haven't you? How did I get myself into this? Look, everything will be just fine. Now, could you get me some more cups? I'm going to go change my clothes and do my makeup. <sighs> Megan, please? Oh, okay. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? My parents will have me frozen alive and I'll be grounded for eternity. Don't laugh. I think they can do it long distance. What are you doing? Getting some punch. Then last and I are out of here. We're thirsty. No. No what? You can't have that. Um, there isn't enough. There's plenty, and there's more in the kitchen. Will, please, go drink some water. All that sugar isn't good for Lassie. Please? Weird. Come on, Lassie. <laughs> Megan, help me pick something out. I don't have to tell you to keep quiet, do I? No. As long as I don't have to tell you that I prefer size medium. Don't worry, you'll get your jacket. You don't want water. You want punch, right, Lassie? It's wet. Hey, cut it out. It's got your room. If you're not going to drink it, I will.
hot in here, Lassie. Let's head home. Go bad, Lassie. You don't feel too good either, huh? Come on, Lassie. I want to get home. We can make it. Lassie. If I can do it, you can do it. Oh, I told them about the boys. So they leave like they're supposed to. I'm the only one dumb enough to stay. They're running home to change. Do you know what your problem is? Yeah, you. And I shouldn't be here. Oh, everyone else will be. And I'm going to be the only one that looks like a sophomore. I'll give you something to wear. No. Like what? Follow me. <laughs> so you've got some little cuts. But they've stopped bleeding. I guess we better try to get home. I don't think I'm going to get very far. Are you all right, Lassie? Okay, uh, Mom and Dad should be home. Show them where I am. No, that way's back to Tracy's house. Home's that way. You're going to Megan. Go home. Why, Megan? Honey, can I have some more coffee, please? D. What? Coffee? No, thanks. <laughs> Honey, where are you? Oh, sorry. I was just remembering how I felt when I was Megan's age. There was always some girl having some party and all these great parents willing to put up with us. I think Megan's having as much fun as I did. Oh, I think so. Listen to this. Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Edmonton of Glenridge are being honored today at a luncheon in San Francisco's Mark Hopkins Hotel. That's impossible. They're at Tracy's party. Well, that little devil. Come on, we're crashing a party. Uh, honey, hold it, hold it. Think about it. 
It's just Megan having a little party with her girlfriends. That's not the point. She knows the rules. And we never broke a rule. Of course. And I was punished by my mother who broke the rules, who was punished by her mother who broke the rules. And we will punish Megan because she broke the rules. Exactly. That's how it works. Well, good. Now that we both know the tradition, relax. Well, we can punish her after she gets home. Uh... Okay. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I will call her. I'll say, Megan, are you having a good time at the party? Stir up a little guilt. Well, that's what my mother always did. Let's go. We're going to the party. What happened with Let's Relax? That was before some guy answered the phone with, Hello, Tracy's Roadhouse. Come on. Who's that? I don't know. Some guy from Parkland High? He heard about the party at a gas station. This could get out of hand. Tell me about it. Well, what do I do? Pull the plug. I can't do that. My social life isn't that wonderful. Okay. Hey, Megan, let's dance. No, thanks, Matt. Not now. Why are you so uptight? I'm not uptight. I just don't want to dance. You need to relax. Let me get you some punch. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> Here. No, thank you. I really don't want it. Sure you do. Matt, I... I don't drink, okay? Look, all I'll do is loosen you up a little bit so you have a better time. Mm -hmm. Hey! What are you doing here, Lassie? I'll get you another drink. I don't want a drink. And I don't care what you or anybody else thinks. So forget it. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Who did it? Megan! I'm sorry, Tracy. I'll go get a mop. I'll get the mop and give it to Kletzo here. I didn't do what the dog did. Yeah, sure, sure. I'll get the door. I don't think she's glad to see us. All right, we're waiting. You can start with why this place smells like a brewery. I didn't drink. I... I should have... Where's Will? He and Lassie left a long time ago. Lassie just came back. Will should have been home by now. She's covered with stickers. Mm -hmm. I know where these came from. Come on, show us. My stomach's still upset. Boy, I'll never drink. Well, at least that's one good thing that came out of this. <laughs> Two good things. Yes, Will? Nothing. I was just making sure you were around. Will, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. You and Lassie could have been killed. We could have. I saw my whole life flash before my eyes. Eleven years goes pretty fast. Lassie tried to help me, but she couldn't. She tried to help me, and she did. I did one thing wrong, and then everything went wrong. Make a note of that. It happens a lot. What do you want? I'd like a root beer now, please. Okay. I must admit, Dee, that's a real creative punishment. Do you think one week of waiting on me is enough? Yes. yes. Then I'd better get busy. What would you like now? I'd like some ice cream, please. All right. Yes? Could you put those two together? I'd like a root beer float. Yes. What now? I think Lassie wants a root beer float, too. 